is my new desk. My vanity is here. Who needs Bob the Builder? Do I read the warnings? We've got it! That looks scary. Hello everyone, it's Chloe. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. I first want to apologize for basically missing a week of uploading. I just have a couple stressful things coming up. Like my brother has to have some surgery in a couple days. By the time you see this, he's already probably out of surgery. So yay. But I just need to get everything ready for that and make sure he's okay with everything and just all that stuff you know i don't know i've just been stressed <laughs> i should say that so this video was a fun one i do promise this video is me redoing my entire makeup collection and like my vanity and everything and including my bookshelf i add a little bit of spice into this video and i do show you me reorganizing my bookshelf and that's till the end you can skip that if you want to i know a lot of people don't like me talking about books but it's fine i basically have this whole brand new vanity set up and everything and like my makeup and inserts and everything is all new and you'll find out all the details within this video so i'm going to jump right into this video because I know you guys are very very excited. If you did see my last weekly vlog I did show a little bit of that in that video but this is a dedicated video for that vlog if that makes any sense but if you want to know how my new makeup collection turned out just keep on watching. <laughs> Hello everyone, just a bit of an update. I've moved everything, had a little bit of breakdown. My bed practically just broke, but it's fine. My music needs to stop. Basically, I have the bed where I want it and where my Alex drawers are, but the actual vanity is where it is, but it's getting changed in like a couple days. So it's not actually the vanity, it's gonna stay like that. But I gotta keep it like that because I gotta get ready in the next couple days. So I have to have a vanity to actually get ready with. But this is what it looks like, it's out of focus. It looks cramped, but again, my other vanity is a lot smaller. I've had a bit of a breakdown because one of my like clothing drawers broke, which has all my PJs in it, so that's fun. But again, today is Monday. I'm getting my desk on Saturday, but I have to get glam in between that. What I'm gonna do now is plug in the light that Frank got me for Christmas. And then when I get my new vanity, I'll just take it off. So I'm gonna basically put my, um, where is it anyway? I don't know where I put it. I'm gonna put my chest of drawers there for now on the side so I can like charge my phone and stuff. When the new vanity comes in it's gonna be a lot better. But this is where my bed is at right now and the bookshelf and there's a bunch of pop vinyls there. But I'm happy with that space because now I can sit down on the floor and actually see the bottom two bookshelves. All well, this is the same but that's my update. I know I'm not talking a lot during this, this is more time lapses, but it's a very stressful time period, okay? I'm going to set all this up. Hopefully I get it all done. If not, I'll continue it tomorrow. But again, you're gonna see more on Saturday when I get the vanity and build it.
Today's Wednesday. It's the 30th. I got a parcel in the mail. This is my vanity collection order. This is like inserts to go in my new drawer i'm just gonna open it to see if it's in here because i can't do anything with it until i get the drawers anyway i'll leave these links down below and the inserts i have for the alex drawer i already have are from the same company my brush holders from the same company but i got the inserts made for the actual drawer i'm getting this is so exciting this is what it looks like so these are two little extras i got a lipstick holder and another lipstick holder you can pick between a lipstick holder or a compact and then below this we've got the actual desk inserts which i'm really really excited about Oh my god, this is like snug. The Vanity Collection is set number three, number two, and I think I've got number two again. Yeah, I've got two sets of two and one set of three. Because you can choose what set you get. These are the lipstick holders, and you can just put a lipstick in there. This is set three, so this is the compact one, I believe. This is the compact one. Now, you can actually take these out to make, like, more room. So you can put, like, primers and stuff there, and, like, it's gonna just slide in the drawers like that. That's so pretty. And then I have two of set twos. I already have this in my Alex drawer and I keep like my eyeliners and stuff in it. This is kind of the same thing as the other one but there's no like middle section so it's just long. And again like the other one you can take these out to create more space. So I have two of these. The other one is the same. And I'm very very excited to actually set them up in my drawers now. The only thing is when I get my drawer I have to maneuver my entire makeup to like fit stuff in the pull out drawer. But what I'm going to put in the pull out drawer is everything I use on a daily basis. So like when I get my makeup done I just can just pull it out and you know that stuff. So so that's my little unboxing. I'll see you guys when my Ikea dresser comes in the mail, I guess. It's here. My vanity is here. You don't have to build it. Are you excited? No? Okay. So I'm very excited. So let's get Bob the Buildering up in here. Look at this angles. Oh, this is my vanity. It just arrived from Ikea. I'm going to build it in this area here and then take it into my room just because it's going to be so much easier. I've already taken my old vanity out of my room so it's like empty. So this can be already, you know, put in there. I'll leave this link down below if anyone's wondering what I got. But I got the mom dresser, I think. I really have an idea of how you open it. So let's just kind of try our best. Oh, we got somewhere. Nope, okay. Ah, muscles, am I right? The only problem I have with Ikea furniture, it's great, but the instructions are only pictures. You can't see me. So this is going to be like a hard thing to do. Like I remember when I got the Alex drawers, I was like, oh, cool, so fun. Not really. Because they only bloody do picture instructions. I'm like, okay, this is a bit intense, mate. So I'm kind of scared. Get that. Okay, try again. No, look at that. Oh, I found the instructions. So this is my desk and the vanity collection storage goes there. So exciting. How many steps are there? There's 21. Wow. Hallelujah! Oh, there's big holes. That's what she said. We have these pieces. I don't know what they are. Are these like number? I don't remember. I don't know if Ikea numbers their things. So why is that a different color? That is very light. I've also just realized the top of it is glass. Nuts and screws. We can do this. Instructions. The warning. Do I read the warnings? Step one. Well, these are heavy duty. We have two of these, which is for the drawer. And a shit ton of screws. Hello, can you not open? Hi, Bobby. This looks like the big piece, which it is. So this is the main piece, which is the, the base. No, the top of it. I don't know. First piece. This thing, that looks scary. Holy shit, what are they? These look so scary. We've got it. We've got it. So these go in here. Okay, you're making way too much noise. I've never used these little screws before. Oh. There we go. Got it. See, who needs Bob the Builder? Okay, I want to see how long this takes me. It's currently 12.52. I've just started. So we'll see how long this takes me to do and like how many breakdowns I'm going to have. And let's all count them together. Where does this even go? Okay, one is in. Second one. Let's go. Oh, wrong way. Do, 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 do. I'm literally so excited. You have no idea. I feel like you can tell how excited I am. I haven't got a new vanity in like five years. So <laughs> this is going to be a new experience. Why am I seeing everything, by the way? There's all my grubby finger marks on it already, but this is the base. Let's turn these the right way around, Chloe. That would be interesting. We're doing okay. 2021 going in the new... 
Okay, going into the new year with the new vanity. This needs to be set aside for now, so I'm going to move this away. Next step is involving those big legs like mine. <laughs> is that a better angle? I don't know. I'm so sorry about the angles, guys. Step two is the these thingies. I don't know what you call them. They screw in to these little holes here. What screws is that? <laughs> I'm sticking to everything. It's not fun. They're fat ones. They're skinny. What ones do I use for this? The really skinny ones. No, the fat ones. Oh, getting chunky over here. Okay, got it. Easy as. Look at that. See, sometimes pictures can be good, but sometimes pictures cannot be good. <laughs> so we're going to use the drill for this because I'm a professional, obviously. And then what dad taught me to do is you put the other one in and then tighten it. See, I learned things. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, that's pretty on there, love. Okay, look at that. Oh, okay. Next one. Let's do it. Why do I have time warp stuck in my head? What the fuck? Party. Nope, don't do that. Nope, no, nope, nope, nope. Oh, that was fun. Step two is done. Step three or whatever we're up to. My legs are sweating on this tile. Dwells, dwells, dwells. I don't know why I said it like that. This is the leg. I don't know. Oh, 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 oh. That seems simple enough. That looks fun. Okay. Done. Oh my God. The shape is forming. <laughs> It's coming together. This is how big my desk is actually. So a lot smaller than that one. That What was that in English? <laughs> a lot smaller than that one, but I think it'd be perfect. Step four. Okay, that's weird. This goes on like this. That's fun. A little bit awkward though, not gonna lie. I got it. I need a little bit of patience, y'all. <laughs> I'm just adding little foot steps in. What are they called? Feet, thank you. Hello. Okay, what the fudge do I do here? Step six oh. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, fuck sick. No. I thought I did something wrong, but I just confirmed with dad. He thinks I did it right, and I sort of did. So now we're up to step seven, which I gotta flip the desk and put the glass on top. So woohoo! There's my desk. Didn't realize at the time it was a glass top. You couldn't tell. It was like a it's a white bench and clear glass. Okay, don't tell me that you could easily know. I probably could read the description. <laughs> There's no pre-drilled holes, which is always very scary for me. How do you screw a hole in? Oh, I hate when you have to pre-drill holes. I'm just saying. I just spent like 10 minutes pre-drilling a hole to get the glass to stay. Let's move to the next step. This is what it's looking like. So I've again, adjusted the little things to keep the glass not moving. The next thing to do is the drawer. So this is gonna be easy as, so I'm just gonna speed through this one. My brain's not working today. Here the drawer. Dad's helping me because these little things are the devil. This is the drawer. There's dad. This is the desk. I literally have like two steps left. So I have to put the drawer in obviously and just do some last minute details. But look at it. Hello humans. I have just changed my battery and just finished up the whole desk. So it's now completely done. Exciting times. Had a bit of a struggle but it's good. So this is my new desk. It's going to look a bit weird like this until I have like stuff on it. But this is the drawer. You kind of can't actually get to all the way back there unless you like put your hand in but it's okay. And then obviously my vanity collection inserts go in there. And then my mirror's going to go up the top with like my brushes, which I'm going to do today. I'm very excited. This is my new desk. What I'm going to do is get everything off my floor in my room because like I said before, I moved my old vanity out, which you guys obviously saw. So everything that was on my vanity needed to be put somewhere. <laughs> I had my, my bed, ignore that. But my mirror's there and like all this stuff, like my makeup palettes and stuff. And I have to redo all the Alex Draw stuff. I mean, some of the makeup in there is going to go in my new desk. I have some stuff over there. I'm going to bring the desk in and put all this stuff on my bed that's why it's messy sorry then we can start putting everything on I've now set up the placement of where I have everything. Ignore the way I look, I look disgusting. But this is now the final placement of the furniture. I had to put everything in the drawers and everything like that. And my bedside table from Kmart. Again, the dresser is from Ikea. The mirror is what Frank got me for Christmas, which is from Kmart. And that is the Alex drawers from Ikea as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up everything. I'm not going to talk through this because I'm going to be very stressed about it because I don't know where anything is going. I did move a couple pictures around because obviously the mirror is covering my most of them. Let's get to moving some stuff, shall we?
Okay everyone, so it is currently 5.02 and I've pretty much done everything, everything that it's spot. I just had to like double check everything, but I want to give you guys an overview. This is now my new little area. I'm actually obsessed with it. This is the desk and the Ikea drawers. Now I've actually changed most of that stuff, so I have to show you guys both of them. So over here we have my dried funeral flowers. Behind here is the little plant Rhiannon got me and when you're standing on this side you can see it, which I absolutely love. I have a photo of me and grandma. And on the actual mirror itself I have the three cars that are from our childhood a candle ebony got to me and then over here we have ebony succulent hand sanitizer and the joker playing cards I got for Christmas from Lexi a couple years back then over here is my brushes I've changed some stuff in this which I need to show you majority of this is in this so I'm going to show you this first this is intense I'm so excited <laughs> so these inserts are the vanity collections ones I'll leave these exact pack down below but you can just search their website to find particular ones so I have the two lipstick holders down here I wasn't planning on using them but they do fit perfectly so I just grabbed the lipsticks from my lipstick drawer so my lipstick drawer is just glosses liquid lipstick stuff like that because I necessarily don't have a lot of lipstick like bullet lipstick so I've just placed them in there over here is the compact one I take two seconds out because these are too big but I have just my bronzer my powder all my beauty blenders and then these are like my highlighters primer bronzer and those are the makeup towels I use so it's not the prettiest just having them there but I need to put them somewhere <laughs> this next two are the like longer inserts I guess. So over here I just have hair clips, lash glue, a random concealer, <laughs> tools, hair, hairspray, no setting spray, eyelash curler, my headband. I can't really reach here, not often. I can, but like not a lot. These are my Colourpop uh, Jelly Much eyeshadows and behind that I have some of the loose shadows as well, which continue on back here, which were in this drawer, but I need a new space. So I don't use them as much, but I still use them, but I don't want to like put them in a dedicated drawer like they used to be. Then in front of that I have the Colourpop eyeliners, the gel ones, and then this is like my eye stuff I guess so I have my pencils which I have to take a separate section out to make them fit I have my mascara my eyebrow products P. Louise bases glitter eyeshadows and mascaras so this is basically everything I use on a daily basis not gonna lie this is that and I'm actually really excited to have like a draw here because I never had a draw here like that I can really use anyways then on to this bad boy so this first draw was the Colourpop eyeshadows it's now my compacts and some of this obviously is in my main desk so this is now my compact this is my skincare. I don't do a lot of skincare but when I do this is the stuff I use obviously and this is the products I use to take my makeup off. So when I sit down it's like eye level so it's going to be easier than putting it up here with skincare. But this is everything I use to take my makeup off with. This is my face palettes. Again the inserts are all the exact same from Vanity Collections. So these are my face palettes. This hasn't changed. This is my lash drawer. This next one is my eyeshadow palettes which you guys saw me put in. Now this doesn't look sorted out but I trust me it is. And this is every single eyeshadow palette I own big and small because this was just my small ones and my big ones were in that like separate drawer in my other vanity but I put them all in one drawer again there's no inserts in this one it's just a plain drawer this one is my lip drawer again it's just mo mostly glosses lip liners and liquid lipsticks and these two haven't really changed this is my foundation drawer and the bottom one is my spare drawer with just like spares of like makeup I love I guess that is my new setup everyone so basically everything is done like storage wise I'm just gonna clean up my room a bit I'm gonna make some dinner should i add my bookshelf reorganization in this video as well i don't know maybe i will maybe i won't what i'm going to do now is just do lots of bits and bobs off camera it's not really important but the main part was the makeup and i'm pretty sure i've done all of it which is epic i'm obsessed hello everyone um bit of an update it's a couple days later and my room is obviously done but one thing i didn't know if i should add to this video is me redoing my bookshelf so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a time lapse of me reorganizing it i'm just going to add little clippers of my bookshelf before and afters. I thought it's part of my room it's neat. it needs to be organized. I feel like this is like the last bit of stuff that needs to be done. And I just have to get rid of the rubbish down there and then my room is done which I'm really excited about. So let's do a time lapse of me sorting out a bookshelf. But this is the before of my bookshelf. As you can see it's a loading dock for a bunch of shit. I also had to sort all this stuff out but now I have room to get to the bottom shelves. Hope they can put books on the bottom shelf as well and get rid of all that shit. But this is a before and hopefully we can get it semi-decent. Let's get into it.
Okay guys, I think I've done it. I've changed this up so many times. I got hot, that's why I took half my jumpsuit off. This is the layout I want. At this point, who actually knows, really? Let's be honest. Let's give you an overview. I think this is how I'm gonna keep it. I just hit myself in the face. I filled all my shelves up. They're not full completely, like I can add more. But you'll keep in mind, this has books in it too. So if I had this on the bookshelf, I wouldn't have any room at all. But just let me put my pop vinyls on and my little plants. And I'll do an overview. So everyone, this is the after. So again, the top is the exact same. I'll just run through it really quickly. These are the Harry Potter illustrated books. I don't really know what to call them. My friend Tori gave them to me. So shout out to Tori. Love you, Gilly. These are my Umbrella Academy comics. I have a little present from Annalisa for my 21st. And then I have my pop vinyls. This is just an overview of what the after looks like. I don't know if you can actually really tell <laughs> if there's anything different. But for me, this is majorly different. So, I'm going to quickly run through what the first shelf has not been changed it's the exact same because i love this shelf <laughs> then moving down this is like i wouldn't say teen reading but it's more like contemporary i guess so these are all by the same authors this is the same author these are all kind of mix match and then these are jenny han and then the rest is rainbow Rowell. and i have my bing bong and my joker pop vinyls they don't really go together but they're cute or whatever then i'm moving down i swear to god these books did my head in so this is my sarah j mass collection i guess i have a crack my foot and i need to sneeze oh my god hang on so this is the throne of glass series again the bookshelf isn't tall enough so i had to put two of the books on the side but this is the same set and then next to it i have the court of thorns and roses set then i have my two denarius and john snow pop vinyls i just have a random kathy reach book because it doesn't really fit anywhere else then i have my collector's edition of crooked kingdom and then six of crows is right there and then another sarah j mass is there it just looked weird if i put it there if that makes sense moving down the rest of these are kind of just spread out in a way. So this is the Hung Game series. I really should put some pop vinyls there, but I don't really have any more. Then I have the One of Us is Lying set. And then these are just some random ones that are just bigger and thicker books. And then back here are all my John Green books. So these two shelves are kind of, they're all the same author, which is literally crazy. So this is all like my Shadowhunters world collection. So I have the Dark Artifacts Trio, Chain of Gold. I have the Codex, the Tales from Shadowhunters. Hunter Academy and the Bane Chronicles. Then I have my two 10th anniversary editions of City of Bones and Clockwork Angel. And I have another one behind there, behind Little Moriarty. And then moving down, so this is the Shadow Hunters set basically. So I have two versions of it. You can't even see, sorry. This is my original version. This was Mum's. This is the collection edition where you have the binders. She didn't want them, so I just kindly took them off her hands. And then I have the Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess. That, my friends, is all of my books. <laughs> I haven't really changed anything on this so this is all the same but I have all of this to sort out because this was on the bottom shelf of my bookshelf but that is my new bookshelf so I hope you guys enjoyed this little cut through I was a bit worried half the time I had to redo it like four times but that's my little shelf I'm now tired so I'm probably gonna go relax now because I'm sweating actually I can't relax I gotta clean this up so shit love that for me <laughs> So guys, that is the end of this vanity collection tour. I don't even know what you want to call it, but that is the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up for me. Again, all the products I showed you guys in today's video or I mentioned, we link down below like always as well as all my social media links are down there as well. If you are new here, please subscribe. Make two videos. I wait for you guys every Monday and Thursday. And that's pretty much it. Remember to spread love and stay positive and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye everyone.